Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be testing the gaming project Android Cloud Game Streaming Service on my ROG Phone 5S It's an Indian based service, they have their servers in Mumbai and Bangalore I have actually already tested this service but that was almost a year ago since then the gaming project has upgraded their servers they now support ray tracing unfortunately the pricing has also increased they do provide 2 hours of free playtime but you will only have access to these games limited number of games that's it in order to get access to the games that are available in the your game section you need to purchase the paid membership of this service new games have been added in this video i will be trying out resident evil 4 remake i do own the steam version of the game platform is mentioned steam this is the complete list i'll just scroll down Elden Ring I have already tested God of War 2018 Dying Light Part 2 Again limited number of games But I can see some popular AAA titles Cyberpunk is also available That's it I will be running their ping test I am using Airtel's Extreme Fiber Broadband Connection Subscribe to the 100 megabits per second plan Connect it to a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel For cloud gaming an Ethernet connection or a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel is recommended Generally 4G mobile networks are not recommended due to their high latencies Start the test Connecting to Mumbai based data center Year ago they also had a Delhi based data center I don't know what happened to it Recommended bitrate 6 megabits per second latency should be 27 milliseconds now I'll just show you the prices of the different plans you can access the information from their home interface pricing they provide monthly, hourly and unlimited plans first I'll go through the monthly plans we have the pro plan priced at rupees 499 20 hours of playtime per month up to 4k resolution ray tracing enabled you'll get access to all of the games in the your games catalog then we have the ultimate plan Priced at rupees 799, 35 hours of playtime per month, up to 4K resolution ray tracing enabled, access to your game section. Then we have the hourly plans. For the purpose of this video, I purchased this plan, 4 hours, priced at rupees 150. We'll be getting 4 hours of playtime per month, up to full HD resolution ray tracing enabled, access to your game section. Hourly plan is priced at rupees 50. 8 hours plan, priced at rupees 250. Then we have the unlimited plan Price at rupees 1399 Unlimited hours per month up to 4K resolution ray tracing enabled Access to your game section You can access your accounts information from the account tab In my case it's showing the current plan Ali, current region Mumbai Resolution can be changed from here I have set it to full HD You can select up to 4K resolution Now even after purchasing their subscription you still need to own the games in order to play them using the service games are pre-installed you don't need to download them so let's start resident evil 4 home your games here it is select the platform in this case it's only steam select my region i'll select mumbai Ok so here it's showing that my position in queue is 1 Estimated wait time is 5 minutes Ok so it eventually started after a minute Now I just need to enter my Steam account's credentials I have connected my wired Xbox One controller to the device and you can see it's working Now I'll show you the in-game interface settings Just tap on the hamburger icon right here in the top left corner If you want to enable the virtual controls enable the first setting display gamepad I have set it to off as I'll be using my gamepad Change video quality, I have set it to high Different presets Change video FPS, new setting added I have set it to 60 if you want to conserve data Just drop the FPS to 30 Change video fit, I have set it to fit to screen With the default view, there will be some black bars On the left and right sides, I will go back to fit to screen Here you go these are the default settings Resolution has been set to full HD You can see ray tracing set to normal but it is locked Cannot access it FSR to disable Image quality set to 
most of the settings are set to high few settings are set to max that's good to see i'll stick with the default settings high to max ray tracing set to normal lot of settings are available Here you can see the server specification, the CPU that they are using, AMD's Epic Processor RAM, 16GB GPU, NVIDIA's A40-8Q. They don't provide any overlay to monitor the real-time FPS and ping. So I'm relying on ROG US real-time resource monitor to show you the FPS. Okay, there's Leon. Check out the input response. Yeah, game is running smoothly. Getting around 60 FPS. There is the merchant. I'll head to the church. It's a bit dark. It's meant to be dark. I don't even remember the controls now. Yeah, there's the church okay here game is consuming almost 700 to 800 kbps picture quality is decent church i made it zombie here they are not exactly zombies people infected with some kind of a Plaga virus. Knife that guy. Still, the approach in Resident Evil 4 remake game always reminds me of Evil Within. Shoot the crew. I'll get some item in return. 50 FPS there. So 50 to 60 FPS. It's locked. locked up tight I see I can think of one reason they'd want to do so oh she's here that's for sure I'll find a way in condor one out open the hatch there's the other way It's so dark. There's the way out. Unlock the gate. I'll be engaging in combat. Performance has definitely improved since the last time I tested this service. Finally, and you shoot the barrel. Never gets old. Oh my god. Did not see this guy coming. Charge towards me. Oh 
News Hub. <laughs> I got one. Not this guy. They're behind me. I was set on fire. Game is definitely playable using this service. 50 to 60 FPS. I'll just set the video quantity to extreme. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you can see data consumption increased 1.16 megabyte per second. Six to sixty of this. You should be using the extreme video quality on bigger displays. For example, a pad. I often play games on my Realme pad. Display size of ten point one inches. So I'll end the video here, guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.